Hey, Bob. Hi, Megan. Pete said I'd find you up here. Before you show me, wow, there's a lot going on up here. There is. <laughs> um, explain why the attic is so important to a house. Well, a couple of component, key components in the attic um, is uh, moisture and air leakage and uh, potential ice dam problems. If you look along the bottom here, you can see there's a lot of moisture built up along the bottom there uh, is. of these insulation on either side. Over here, you can see a lot of pooling. This is just constant dripping over the last umpteen years. In the far left corner, you can actually see where there might be a little bit of roof damage, uh, which should be probably repaired. Now, these puddles over here, do you think that's from a direct leak, or is that condensation? Most likely from condensation, because um, condensation is caused by warm into air collecting on the coldest part of the house, in this case, either side of the um, insulation, and it's going to run down the wrappers and trip along the edge. All right. Tell us about this insulation up here. It looks like it's pretty damaged. It is. It's pretty damaged, um, and surprisingly, it's not very old. Um, this is probably less than 10 years old on a house that was built in the 70s. So um, one of the problems that I see when they installed it is they, is they use the incorrect size. So the rafter depth here is actually six inches, and this is probably three or three and a half inch fiberglass bat, which is the incorrect size. So we're going to remove all the fiberglass insulation, uh, reinspect it for uh, damage, and then uh, reinsulate it. Okay. Any other piping or anything else you see? Um, yeah, there's a, a pipe right here, which is the exhaust uh, vent for the bathroom fan. Um, so that'll need to be replaced with insulated material. Okay. You had mentioned um, what you thought might be ice dam damage over there. An ice dam is when the heated air of a home leaks into the attic and warms the roof, causing snow to melt in the winter. The water flows down the roof and then freezes at the edge, forcing other melted water behind it to leak into the roof and cause damage. The homeowners had said that they had ice dams in the past. Is that what that's from? You know, um, if I had a guess, I would say it's, uh, it, it, it's probably ice dam related, or I would suspect it just on based on where it's located. It's right near an outside wall, so I, I would definitely think that it could be ice dam related. All right. Let's go see what we find out on the other side of the Let's attic. Let's go. Okay, Bob, we're in the other half of the attic. First, explain why this house has two separate attics. Well, originally, when the house was built, the, the exterior wall actually ended right here, and then the space behind us, the attic we were just in, is actually a room addition that was added. Oftentimes we get calls from additions with ice dam problems, and it's typically because uh, sometimes the contractors aren't able to air seal the space between the addition and the original house. So we would have to take a look at that um, to see if there's any issues there. So this is finished on this side. Correct. Is there the same or similar insulation up here? Per perceivably, yes, but we won't know unless we take a piece out and inspect it. Right, and you won't know if it's damaged to the extent of that insulation Correct. Is as well. Mm -hmm. All right. So, what's going on up here? What do you see? Um, I see a normal uh, attic that's been around since the late 70s, and um, I don't see anything totally unusual except for the soil stack. This has been dripping on the floor. You can see some moisture staining right here. So, um, again, we, we would have to expose some of the roofing material, air seal this, and that would take care of all this piece right here. Okay. And after you get that taken care of, um, now as far as the investigation goes, where are we going? We're headed to the crawl space. Oh, we're not headed to the crawl space. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be a place we're going to send Pete. Okay. I think he'd like to go there. Sure. So, Bob, I know this is normally when you be inspecting the basement of a house, but this home doesn't have a basement. Correct, Pete. This actually has a crawl space, and this particular crawl space is heated. So we're really concerned about air infiltration and air exfiltration. So we want to be able to keep the air inside the crawl space inside and not outside and vice versa. And again, that really comes into play in terms of when you're thinking about heat loss for a home here. Correct, it does. And as, as I look at this, Bob, we're going down in this hole here. I mean, it's, it's, it's a very confined space, but it does run the length of the, of the home. It runs the entire length of the home underneath. It's probably three to four feet deep, so not a lot of space down there. So we're going to have some fun today. Okay. Well, I'm glad you think that. Let's, <laughs> let's check it out. Okay. Bob, you weren't kidding. This is a bit of a confined space as we're down in the crawl space. So when you're down here, what are you looking for? We're looking primarily um, evidence of air infiltration, rodents, moisture-related problems, mainly related to odor. Okay. It looks like, uh, I mean, some insulation and some issues uh, as I look up here towards the, uh, uh, the side. Yeah, so up here along the top of this wall, we have a, um, an area called the sill box, and it runs around the entire perimeter of the house. 
all the way around. And you can see there's been some rodents in here. Right behind you here, there's a piece of fiberglass insulation hanging with a bunch of holes in it. So the insulation that's down here has just been decimated by rodents. Also looking here, the, the vapor barrier on, 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 the, on the ground here. Looks like it uh, has seen better days. It has. So in order for a proper uh, vapor barrier to work, it would need to be encapsulated 100%. That means laid out up to the sides of the wall, air sealed all the way around. And that helps keep some of the moisture down and some of the rodents out of the crawl space. Moisture in the crawl space, you want to keep below 60% at all costs. I'm more concerned about it in the summer months because it can contribute to moisture related problems, mold and such. All right, so as you look at this, I mean, definitely some improvements you can make for the, for the homeowner here in terms of tightening this up and, and reducing that heat loss. Absolutely. As you look across here. Yep, and then additionally, the other side of this wall here is the addition. There's no vapor barrier in there at all. There's no insulation on the crawl space walls. If you look over here to the right, you can see all this ductwork hanging. This would all actually need to be tightened up and sealed. This is something that we'd recommend also. It looks like there's a lot that you can do. This is gonna account for probably 25% of the total air leakage in the house. That's amazing. Yeah. That's amazing. And again, it can be corrected and can be fixed. Correct. Well, Bob, it is, I mean, we're a little cramped down here. It's, it's fascinating though, but one of those things that a homeowner can improve. I've, I've seen enough, I'm ready to get out of here. I'm ready to get out of here too, let's go. Okay. <laughs>